Hi, I'm Vincent Whirling. I'm here with Doug Robinson, a flooring expert, especially in hardwood here. And uh, I've had uh, some customers, even some friends ask me, you know, uh, I've heard engineered hardwood, I've heard of solid hardwood. You know, what, what are the differences between them uh, besides, you know, I guess they're a little different width, but uh, I don't understand past that. It's the way they're made, Vince. You, with a solid piece of wood, Obviously, they're taking this from a tree and milling it, and it is just that solid piece of wood construction. The other way to make this is in what they refer to as an engineered piece of wood, which has plies to it. Think about plywood. Now, engineered can be used below grade, meaning in basements, as an example, on grade or above grade, okay. whereas solid can only be used on grade or above grade. Okay. This has to be nailed down. Very rarely would you glue a solid piece of wood down, and never would you glue it down below grade, because it's just a solid piece that will move and expand and contract okay. with moisture and humidity. Okay. The engineered wood can move, but because of the construction of it, much less so. So it can take a more humid environment or less humid environment with less movement to the floor. Okay. That's one big difference between them. In this case, you'll see a thickness difference between the engineered and the solid. And a lot of people will get confused and will say, well, how many times can I refinish this solid compared to the engineer? If we go back to the recode story, you know that when they recoat the floor or redo the urethane, all they're doing is abrading the top. Mm -hmm. So you can do that endlessly on either engineered or solid. Mm -hmm. It actually will wear just as well on either way. Okay. and you'll get just as much life out of either floor. If you had to change the color of an engineered floor, depending on the product that you were looking at, you can generally get at least one restaining out of that floor. But as I tell most people, in a lifetime, that's rare that that would happen, okay. is that they would change the color of their floor. Sure. Now, uh, within different brands or, or you know, high-end, low-end, different types of wood, can engineers be made differently or can solids be made differently, things like that? Are there higher sure. qualities, lower qualities? Sure, absolutely. The solid, generally speaking, especially in our geographic area, are a three-quarter thick solid floor. Okay. You will find some thinner solid varieties out there, but for the most part, 95% of the products offered in a solid state are a three-quarter thick product. Engineered, however, you will find a variety of thicknesses. You can't get into a 5 sixteenths, a 9 sixteenths, a half inch. 3 eighths generally rules a day on total thickness of the floor. As far as the way they construct it, you will find different plies. The more plies there are to an engineered floor, the better quality it is. So a 3 ply is not as good as a 5 ply, a 5 ply is not as good as a 7 ply. Okay. And you will find a variety of number of plies offered throughout the industry. The other difference is in the face of the product. You can, what they call rotary peel, the log, and it is just that, like a pencil shaving. Okay. Taking something round and flattening it out. That'll tend to make it look like plywood and a little uh, fake looking compared to the solid. In this particular example, this product is what's called a dry saw face. Where they take this product, they cut off the thickness for the top, and they mount that on a ply product. So ultimately, when you see them side by side, it's very, very difficult to tell the difference visually between the engineer dry saw and the solid three quarter. Oh yeah. But in actuality, this would be the better floor because of less movement, less uh, stress on the floor over a course of the life of the floor. Oh wow. Now, I would imagine you'd probably maintain them both the same way. Exactly. Same type of cleaners, things like that. Yes, no difference in the maintenance of engineered or solid whatsoever. You do need to worry about humidity, again, more so with the solid than you will the engineer. But again, common sense rules today. Have your AC on when you should, your air conditioning, and your heat on in the winter when you should. Sure. Well, thank you, Doug. I appreciate it. Quite welcome.